My name is uh, Anthony Sky Chief now. I'm the owner of Flipside Tactics South Africa. Um, yeah, this year has been a really good year um, for CS, especially. Um, we've placed, uh, we seeded fourth into this event, the uh, Arena ESWC South African qualifiers. Um, this year's Counter Strike competitive scene has been exceptionally good in South Africa. We've seen a lot of uh, uh, relatively smaller teams from the previous years coming up and competing against the top three. So we no longer have a scenario where it's either Bravado Gaming or Energy Esports uh, competing for the title. It's more of a, um, a, a five team to six team case and, and, and going on into the year and next year we're looking even at a six to eight team uh, a core group of competitive teams. Um, I'd attribute that mostly to uh, there being more tournaments, more competitive tournaments, more prize money, more regular tournaments. Uh, players coming up from other titles like uh, Battlefield and the uh, PC and console Call of Duty. Uh, guys are uh, seeing the Counter-Strike guys having a lot of success in locally and not just internationally and, and hoping to to take a piece of the pie and, and make a, a career out of it instead of just sort of a, a, a glorified hobby. So yeah, we used to be Infinity Gaming, uh, which was around for two or three years and we focused mainly on the Dota team uh, and uh, Dota 2 team and not so much the Counter-Strike side. Uh, and ever since uh, we picked up a Counter-Strike side, we were noticed by an international organization which had sort of branched into South Africa called Flipside Tactics. And um, they, uh, on the growth of the esports scene in the last year or so, have decided to um, jump into South Africa and look for young talent, much like other teams have done in Brazil with uh, SK and Luminosity Gaming. Uh, so for us, we are not just using the brand name, we use the international resources as well. We uh, benefit from Counter-Strike coaching and tacticians and uh, various other staff members that assist us in our growth locally. Um, there are other teams as well in South Africa that, do, that are starting to do similar things. International organizations coming here like S17, They've recently picked up a local Counter-Strike team and also a Call of Duty team uh, to compete in local tournaments. So if you look at the international scene, uh, very often professional teams have up to anything up to and even more than uh, uh, 10 staff members who are dedicated to their Counter-Strike team in the way of uh, guys who practice new smokes, new flashes, uh, dedicated people for tactics, uh, dedicated people for, for psychology and sports science and various fitness regimes. And uh, at the moment, uh, we're sort of slowly but surely moving into doing the same thing in South Africa. So what we have is a, a coach about once or twice a week who comes and sits with us in team speak and watches us play live. And after each round, they would give us, uh, uh, sort of analyze our mistakes uh, tell us what the international guys are doing, what the general practice is for those things, and uh, relaying that information to us. And that, that gives us a very big edge over our local competition where uh, those guys are playing a South African style CS, and the only international aspect they can draw from is streams and, and VODs on YouTube, etc. So for us, we had that first hand experience directly from somebody who's had anything over 10 years' experience in a professional scene telling our players what to do and what not to do. So for a South African uh, team manager, it's a little bit different from the international scene, whereas they have more of a corporate structure. And at the moment, uh, I'm more or less a glorified house mother, having to do shopping for my team, uh, do my team's washing, make sure they pitch up to tournaments on time looking good, making sure that they conduct themselves in a professional manner, um, ensuring that they're practicing correctly and that they're doing the right things they're supposed to be, keeping their, their mental attitude competitive and strong um, and also uh, ensuring that uh, my players are well looked after at all times and comfortable and ready to play uh, and they don't have to worry about the small things that, that general life you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So I, I sort of become like the hive mind of my team in the sense uh, that I do all of the normal everyday things so they can focus specifically on the game.